charges after he was arrested in Cache County. Kentrell Deshaun Golden, otherwise known as NBA Young Lease Documents, NBA Young Boy, is a suspect in a large-scale prescription fraud ring. This ring is known to try to acquire promethazine with codeine. Police also say that they suspect to call multiple pharmacies pretending to be someone else and try to get this drug. NBA young boy was arrested Tuesday and denied involvement in the ring. However, law enforcement searched his home and found prescriptions matching those fake patients and prior fraudulent pharmacy investigations. He's in jail without bail. He's been charged with 63 counts, among them a slew of felony charges. The prescription of choice here, promethazine with codeine. It's a cough syrup described as a heavily abused Schedule 5 control substance. Three. Someone would call in a prescription, call it in under a fake name or a physician who didn't authorize it. They would try to go pick it up then. At one point, one of the people working for Young Boy actually drove to pick up a prescription in his Chevy Tahoe that you can see in some of the music videos. He denied involvement in the ring when he was arrested and law enforcement searched his home. They found prescriptions matching some of those fake names. He's in jail without bail. Right after singer and rapper, NBA Youngboy faces dozens of charges. As we have reported, Mark, that he was taken into custody in Cache County, accused of organizing fraudulent drug prescriptions at Utah pharmacies, legally known as Kentrell Gald Galden. He's been on house arrest in Utah since 2021. Ariel Harrison live tonight after speaking with one of those targeted businesses, Ariel. Yeah, well, one pharmacist I spoke with said they thankfully didn't fulfill that order as they noticed some red flags, but unfortunately, others weren't so lucky. Now tonight, the young celebrity who already had a criminal history now faces more than 60 related charges to this alleged scheme. Pharmacy owner Eric Stewart says hearing news of an arrest in the fraud ring investigation involving his business was a relief. You know, I'm just happy that they're able to connect the dots. Last September, Stewart says his team at Reed's Pharmacy in Hiram got a call from someone claiming to be a doctor needing to fill a prescription, something he called the first red flag. Usually don't get a doctor calling in a cough syrup themselves. That'll be like a nurse or something. But then just their medical terminology was off the the quantities, the way they you know pronounced the things. Um, Everything was suspicious. Like Stewart's case, arrest documents reveal multiple other pharmacies across Utah were targeted too. According to investigators, callers linked to Young Boy would call in prescriptions using the name of a real doctor and provo in some cases, but giving fake patient information. Individuals would then pick up the order from pharmacies, mainly promethazine and codeine. These type of medications they're trying to get are regulated, and so throwing a, a, a chink in the in the I guess process can really disrupt uh, potential opportunities to get the medication you actually need. Weber County Sheriff's teams helped take Galden into custody with federal partners just yesterday. We believe this to be several more months of work for us. Efforts local business owners like Stewart appreciate. But when it's on a bigger scale like this, it's more concerning, right? Uh, because they're pretty persistent and um, I mean, it's just a big disruption to us and it's just a headache for us to have to deal with. Now, the 24-year-old rapper is booked at the Cache County Jail, facing 63 different charges related to this, including having a dangerous weapon as a restricted person. Reporting live, Ariel Harrison, K. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as more news and information is available online now with the case of NBA Youngboy and the federal arrest that went down in Utah two days ago where he was currently already on house arrest and everything out there for the case he was fighting out of Baton Rouge. And when you look at this situation right here, they saying they was investigating for a while. And one thing when it comes to drug prescriptions, pharmacies repetitively going back and different people being involved in it, you are leaving a paper trail behind once it becomes this flagrant and they can be able to look at it. I'm gonna say this, innocent until proven guilty. I don't see what's all connected, but when they watching you, they listening, you see Homeland Security involved, they most definitely went for the gusto. And I had a link in the description where you can watch these clips in full at from KUTV2, and I'm gonna get it to the write-up from the Alpha David with KSL as well. And I'll tell you like this right here, when it comes to these type of things, the federal 
government is already very aware of who NBA Youngboy is. They watch it every single thing that he do. You on a monitor, you on house arrest. It's not a game. It's not up the grabs. It's not up for you to guess or roll the dice with it. They are watching. They are listening. Everything you post up online, they are on there exactly in your comments. They're not even in your comments, but they read through them. They got people giving them information, and they watch it. It just is what it is. Once you become a part of the federal system and you're still active, especially if you're a superstar that's all over the Internet every day, they watching every post. So if you look like you got drank, Oh, we got a hinge that, oh, he's got something to do with these people who at the pharmacy. Let's pay attention to his Instagram closer. Let's see what we can put together. And all those things will be brought up if you decide to go to trial with these allegations now. Now, nothing is confirmed. They did say one of the cars, the Tahoe that he had in his video, was also one of the cars that was pulled over from a farm, pharmacy situation, if I am uh, got my understanding correctly, and it was somebody that's close to him that was driving it, going to get these drugs as well. And when it comes to ordering drink through the pharmacies and stuff like that, and once somebody call it in and say, hey, this don't seem right, it don't look right, they taking all that serious, especially somewhere like Utah, if I'm keeping it all the way a thousand. And I'll tell you like this, you get caught with any trying to, any kind of controlled substance like that, or you get caught in the control substance ring, they most definitely going to look to lock you up. And that's just how this game goes. And the write-up from the affidavit in KSL says this. The Louisiana rapper born Contrell Deshaun Golden is a suspect in a large-scale prescription fraud wing. According to a police booking affidavit, which says the FBI has identified him as the leader of the NBA street gang from the Louisiana area. The affidavit notes the FBI has classified his associates as a gang because of their structure, affiliation, and violent behavior. Contrell Gardner's music is heavily influenced by such behavior as he is consistently rapping about shooting and killing people, using drugs, and having a strong dislike for law enforcement. Investigators from Katz County say they were first alerted to fraudulent prescriptions last September when someone called in an order to a high-run pharmacy using the credentials of a Provo doctor who did not have a patient matching the name. Over the next months, police say 18 successfully filled prescriptions and at least two confirmed attempts were documented throughout Katz County and across Utah using repeated names there were different combinations of first and last names with different birthdays, impersonating elderly patients, ordering the antibiotic doxycycline and promethazine with codeine, a heavily abused controlled substance. The cough syrup is often combined with alcohol or soda to make purple drink a lean. In January, officers with the Catch Rich Drug Task Force arrested two females attempting to pick up codeine prescriptions in Smithfield who were driving a Chevy Tahoe registered to Gordon, which was impounded. Police spoke to Gordon, who, according to the affidavit, and claimed the women were his family. During the investigation, police say they received a call from Gwendolyn Cox, one of the alleged aliases used to order prescriptions. The caller mixed up the names of the aliases, giving police the last name White. It could not give an age when asked, according to police. The affidavit said it was very clear that a fake voice was being used and sounded as though she was a much younger male from the southern states. On Tuesday, a search warrant was executed at Galder's multi-million dollar mansion in the unincorporated area of Weber County, northeast of Huntsville where police say they found doxycycline prescribed to Carolyn White, codeine prescribed to Gordon with the false date of birth, and unlabeled codeine. They also say a gun was found, which Gardner said belonged to his wife. I'm pretty sure that gun is a legal gun and not in his name. He said it's his wife's gun, so I'm pretty sure that's that. That's nothing. Hey, the gun charge will be dropped and everything. Some of these charges will be dropped, but they say 18 prescriptions being filed. And 18 really don't seem like this much to have everything involved with Task Force, Homeland Security, the uh, drug rich catch program in the county of Utah. Like they out here trapping out of highs, getting in the shootouts. This clearly looks like somebody, if this is the case, I'm going to say innocent until proven guilty, who is looking to just get high on drugs and have a recreational time. But when you're crossing them federal lines and it's getting flagrant, repetitive, and everything like that, 
Once the paper trail been alerted, it's there. They looking to lock you up. And what they're going to do is, is tie everything that you got going in on with it. Things online, rap music, past posts, past arguments, past everything. Your music, all that is going to be used in the image to try to get you to plead guilty to not even take it to trial or other people around you to not plead, to not take it to trial and plead guilty. We'll have to wait and see what happens from here on out. Just always know, man, I ain't judging nobody for no addictions because this is what this really seemed like from afar if I had to say. I'm not saying this is what happened, that dogs just like to sip drink. It is an addictive drug. It becomes a part of a lifestyle once you do it and people who are addicted to drugs and they want to do those drugs to pass their time and get through their day, physically, mentally, and emotionally, they are connected to it. We're like, hey, even though, hey, this probably ain't right, bro. I ain't really doing nothing major to get this. I'm just having people go up there a lot. Ain't like I'm killing nobody. Ain't like I'm hurting nobody. That is correct. But what is correct as well, the feds don't care about that. They always looking to catch you slipping up. If you have a drug and addiction problem, bro, I'm not kicking nobody down. I'm just telling you how they gonna play it and how they look at it, especially when it comes to any type of pills or any type of drink, any type of prescribed medicine. Once the feds get alerted, they looking to come take that operation down. This is what they do. This is what they get paid for. The system is always looking to fill up a bed. They're going to keep having plenty of room, and they'll never run out of it. And if they got to keep building prisons, they will. So the best thing to do is do your best to stay out the way, stay out the mix, and don't put nothing bad on your jacket. Keep as much Keep your jacket as clean as possible because once you get a reputation, every time you catch a new case, they're going to try that to you. NBA young boy, one of the top rappers in the game, man. And it's, it's really a shame to see him have to keep going through these type of things. And I can only just pray that he get better for him, his, his kids, his family. And this is for anybody going through these type of things. Tell me what y'all think. We got more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.